everyone, I'm Teacher Neff and welcome back to Statistics and Probability class. By now, you are equipped with the knowledge and the steps to take in hypothesis testing. This time, you will learn how to formulate the appropriate null and alternative hypothesis on a population proportion. Let us first define what a population proportion is. A population proportion, represented by small p, is a, para is a parameter describing a percentage value associated with a population. In testing hypotheses on population proportion, we also start with stating the null and alternative hypothesis. The null hypothesis states that the population proportion p is equal to hypothesized proportion p sub o. It is a statement of equality. Whereas, the alternative hypothesis states that p is less than, greater than, or not equal to p sub o. It is a statement of inequality using symbols greater than, less than, or not equal. Hypotheses are mutually exclusive. That is, if one is rejected, the other must be accepted, and vice versa. The table beside me shows the null and alternative hypotheses or hypotheses including directional test. Let us now have examples. Example 1. In a farm, 67% of the population is a farmer. When a survey was conducted, it showed that 280 of 400 residents are farmers. Test if this claim was different at alpha equals 0 0.05. For the solution, the hypothesis propo hypothesized proportion P sub O is 67% or 0 0.67. Thus, the null hypothesis is H sub O, the proportion of residents who are farmers is 67% or H sub O colon P equals 0 0.67. The hint in the statement is the word different, meaning not equal. Hence, the alternative hypothesis is H sub A colon, the proportion of residents who are farmers is not equal to 67% or H sub A colon, P is not equal to 0 0.67. Example 2. It has been claimed that 45% of senior high school enrollees chose TV attract. When a survey was conducted by the school head of a certain school, it showed that 212 of 400 enrolled in TV attract. Test if the claim was larger at alpha equals 0 0.05. The hypothesized proportion is 45%. Thus, the null hypothesis is, is H sub O colon the proportion of senior high students who enrolled in TB attract is 45% or H sub O colon P equals 0 0.45. The hint in the statement is the word larger meaning greater. Hence, the alternative hypothesis is H sub A colon the proportion of senior high students who enrolled in TB attract is larger than 45% or H sub A colon P is greater than 0 0.45. We have to take note that this is a one-tailed test or directional. Specifically, it is a right-tailed test. I hope you understand this lesson now. Until next time!